But I'm curious today from both of your perspectives, who are more emotionally available today? Is it men or women? What do you think? I think it's tricky to answer because the men I work with, the majority of the time, they're actually looking for something stable and they can't seem to access it with the women in this day and age. And um, I don't know if what's happened is because hookup culture has made women immune to connection now, they're kind of used to men just coming and leaving and not calling them and not labeling it, that they've always come in it, come into dating with that expectation. And when women lose the kind of driving force of the connection, men don't know how to lead emotional connection. So as a result, we've got endless broken relationships occurring. So I don't know if women are breaking their connection because they want to or because they've been conditioned to because of Tinder and Bumble, which has just created a bunch of people who haven't really got the skills to maintain long lasting connections or finding each other and then breaking up with each other, finding each other and breaking up with each other. I've had clients say to me, I met this beautiful girl and when I met her and we hooked up, she was like, you can go now if you want. I know you want to go home. And he said, no, I want to get to know you. But she was so used to men being in that state with her that they've taken relationships and seen them as kind of vacations from their real world and they all go back to their real world once the weekend is over. So I think it's more society has conditioned people to not look for connection and because men tend to place the acceleration of connection in the women's hands and they're so used to it not being that direction, they've lost control of that and it's now kind of fizzling out for both genders. Interesting. Do you feel like people actually want to be in a long-term relationship, a committed relationship, or do they want to just have the feeling of a relationship for a weekend uh -huh. and be able to have it with multiple people but never fully go deep with people. It depends what she values in her life. If it, In this day and age, you can be 22 up until 42. So you can still have vacations whenever you want. You can still kind of live an Instagram kind of lifestyle. You can still go out with your friends. There's no kind of shame in being a woman who's a bit older, not married, no kids. You can still enjoy your life. So if that's something, if she values independence and she values freedom, then uh, she's not going to be looking for connection. She's going to place connection beneath what she values in life. And that's men and women. I would say that applies to both but if somebody values and recognizes that their root of happiness is their relationships and their true happiness comes from when they don't need external stimulation and they don't need vacations and they don't need all of this they actually want someone that they can stay home and get bored and do nothing with if that's what they value in life that's it will depend on what they value and what they value will depend on what they've experienced the most around them so if they've experienced people showing them investment they'll probably value connection more but if they've experienced being somebody short-term fling every weekend, they'll start to get immune to connection and invested in stimulation instead. Interesting. Mm. Have you, what have you noticed or seen around? I don't, I, like, I don't know. I find it hard to... The, so you're... For you, it's that men want connection, but women are so jaded at this point that... Mm -hmm. They're not offering it. Yeah, I feel like they now just go into it with a mentality that this man is probably going to be seeing other girls. He's probably going to be liking a bunch of pictures. He's probably going to be dating loads of girls on Tinder. I'm going to catch his dating profile, still be active. So instead of being the idiot in this situation, I'm going to take control and I'm going to replicate his behavior. And as a result, they're almost like, cheat first before being cheated on and that's become the mentality and I think social media has had an impact on that as well but it's almost like women are like I'm no longer being the girl that cries over a cheating boyfriend I'd rather be the one that has a backup boyfriend than be on the receiving end of this humiliation I have to say yeah it, it that feels like the vast minority of women yeah and I might be, but here's where I might be on this jaded end because I get the jaded men mm. who've experienced those women. I probably lack access to the ones that are actually trying to just build a nice, healthy connection. It also feels like an interesting place to kind of pinpoint the issue because I would say that that, even if what you said is true for the majority of women, which I think is the majority of women are actually quite the opposite of mm -hmm. that, that the, the issue is would st I would still circle back to the issue as one of male un emotional unavailability. Okay. Because the, the, what we're saying is that there's so many, emo like I, I'm not even sure I subscribe to this, but w in that theory, there's so many emotionally unavailable men yeah. that they've managed to make the entire population of women cynical mm -hmm. 
to the point where they're now going, God, like I'm so, I I, so don't believe in the idea of a relationship anymore that I'm just going to mirror that behavior. Do you think men So the the issue would still lie with men if that was the case. I would argue it's more that the men the women want. I would say that the tiny minority of men that most women want are the ones that because of the alternatives and the options, they lack the investment. And as a result, the women's experiences, all men are like this, but there's so many nice men, just like there's so many nice women, but people aren't giving those people as much much of a chance. So it's almost like the popular kids in school are making the whole school look bad. But aren't men doing the same thing? Absolutely. I would agree 100%. Because men, because if if women are going for the top 1% of men, men are going for the top 1% of women and both are both are going to have a harder time being emotionally available than other people mm-hmm. because that's just a natural kind of well, when you have choice and a lot of it, yeah. then you're naturally going to be more difficult. And, for, and especially if, you know, you have 90% of people chasing after you, that's going to be a harder place to be available. So I just don't know. I don't know that I see a difference between the sexes when it comes to that. The only thing I would say is, um, even with men, not only are the top 1% going for the top 1% of women, even the lower end, the bottom 1%, are still going for the top 1% through OnlyFans and pornography. And so so this kind of soothing their emotional unavailability through pseudo relationships. So it's almost like um, the mid-range is there, but they're usually spoken for. So women in the dating pool are either experienced the top 1% who have loads of options, or the real bottom that have very little options but are so not used to human connection that they're a bit more addicted to pornography and video games.